Welcome to Tuesday's Maths Lesson, boys and girls. So yesterday we learned all about doubles. So when we double a number, we add the number to itself. So if we are going to double one, we need to add one and one together. What does double one make, boys and girls? One add one equals two. Fantastic, lovely, we'll do one more. So when we double two, we need to add two twice, twice as many. So what's two? Add two. Two add two equals one, two, three, four. Fantastic boys and girls. Now I have a little bit of a starter for you today. And this starter, you may want to do with counters, you may want to do with teddies, you may want to do with anything that you can find in your house. So it says, all of these dominoes are doubles, but they are missing some spots. How many spots will each domino have altogether? So remember, when we double, we add the same number to itself. So we have one, two, three spots here. What do we need to add on the other side to double three? How many dots? Good, I need another three. So double three is one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent, so mums and dads, if you would like to pause the video here and you can have a go at these double dominoes. Okay, welcome back. Now I have another quick uh, activity for you to do at home. Now mums and dads, you may want to write it on piece of, pieces of paper or card, but you need eight, two, ten, four and six on a piece of paper on one side of the room. We are going to do a doubles relay. That's right. You need to get off those chairs or off lizard and you need to stand up and we're going to do a relay race. Now, you need these number cards on one side of the room and then you need to write out, I've got post-it notes here, you need to write out the doubles number sentences and you need to have those on the other side of the room. The children are going to pick up one of these cards and run over to the other side of the room and put the card on the double, the double the number, okay? So if I had this card, I would have to do four, add four. So double four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So I would have to put it on my eight. Now, of course, technology is going to do that to me. <laughs> I would need to put it on that number. So the children will have to run back and forth between knowing what the double is and finding it on the other side of the room, okay? So just a quick, fun activity to get those brain cogs working. So you can pause the video here and do a bit of a relay race. If you want to, you can extend the numbers. You can go up to 12, 14, 16, even 20, if you would like. So have a pause here and have a bit of a relay race this Tuesday morning. Okay, welcome back. Now, you need to watch the Double Trouble video again, because today we are learning about halving and partitioning, so making equal groups by sharing today. So the second half of the video is really, really important, mums and dads. So you can pause the video here now and watch this Number Blocks episode again. Welcome back. Okay, we are going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that if we can. <laughs> and we are going to, oh, what's happened? We are going to look at, uh, what's happened? What's happened? Uh, cancel that. There we go. We are going to look at sharing or halving. So I have an apple 
here. A nice juicy apple for my break time. So this is the whole, I have the whole apple, but I want to share it with Miss Nicholas because she hasn't got any break today. What could I do to make sure that we each have a piece of apple? That's right, I need to cut it in half so that I get a piece and Miss Nicholas gets a piece. So I've cut my apple and I've now cut it in half. So we have the same apple, which is cut in half, and they are equal. So I get a fair piece and she gets a fair piece. So I've split it in half. Now for this activity, mums and dads, you need some either Lego or any objects that you can split equally into two equal groups because we are halving, okay? So we are going to have a look at number two. We meet number two. So I'm going to make my two and I'm now going to split this into two equal groups. How could I split this number block two into two equal groups so that they have the same in each group? That's right, I need to have one in one group and one in the other. And I could check that I'm right if I add them up. One add one equals two. So I could also say double one is two. Okay, let's see if we're right. There we go, we split it into two equal groups and we are going to show it on a bar model, mums and dads. So two is your whole, we're going to split it into two equal groups and we will have one in each group. So half of two is one. So two halved is one and one. So half of two is one. Oh, I don't think you can see that. Okay, the next one. Oh, I've done it too quickly. I've done it too quickly. If you would like, I'll go back a bit. Oh no, oh no, we'll do this one together. <laughs> so I have got four boys and girls, the number block four, and I need to split this into two equal groups. So what is half of four? I need to split my number block in half and I should have the same in each group. I should have two in this group and two in this group. So what's double two? Double two is four. So I'm going to show this. So four is our whole. And we split it into two equal groups. We've halved it and we've got two in each group. Our number sentence, four equals two add two. Okay, so half of four is two. Okay, we've got number block eight. Now you're going to do this on your own. What is half of eight? How could I split my eight? So you need eight altogether and you need to split it in to two equal groups to show me half. So pause the video now, mums and dads and split, these num split this whole into two equal groups. I want you to halve it. Fantastic, boys and girls. You could show this as a part whole model. So eight split in half is four and four. So we need the same number in each group. So we've got four and four equals Eight. So half of eight is four. Excellent. Half of eight is four. Okay, mums and dads, you may want to do this on your own. It's absolutely fine. You can pause the video here and have a go. Okay, I'm now going to get rid, if I can, and show. Oh. Get rid of that, get rid of that, save. Uh, I'm going to do this. Okay, so, F 
everyone knows in reception, we love to use chocolate and sweets. We've halved our numbers, but we, now we are going to talk about, is it fair or unfair? So, you know, we love a bit of chocolate buttons in this class. So, we're going to have some. You and I are going to have some, okay? I want you to tell me if it is fair or unfair. So, I'm going to be the blue plate and you're going to be the yellow plate. So, is it fair? I'm the blue plate, you're the yellow plate. No, it's not fair. Why is it not fair, boys and girls? Tell your mums and dads or whoever's teaching you, why is it not fair? It's not fair because I have more than you. I have five and you have two. How could I make this fair, boys and girls? That's right, I could add one to yours. Does that make it fair? Do I have the same in each group? I shared my buttons out, but do I have the same for you and me? No, what could I do now, boys and girls, to make sure they have the same in each group? That it is fair. I could take away one. I now have the same in each group. So here you go, boys and girls, you can have your buttons and I'm going to have mine later. Now, mums and dads, if you want to consolidate anything, you can use this story. It's a beautiful story about a witch and a dragon where the witch doubles everything and the dragon halves everything. So it's really good if you've got lots of objects around you to visualise what double a number is and how to halve it into two equal groups. So I'm going to use a part whole model to show you how to halve. Now, I'm going to put, oh, Miss Selwyn. It's a Tuesday, it's a Tuesday. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put four bananas, four healthy bananas into my part hole model. So my hole is how many? One, two, three, four. And I want to share it equally into two groups. How many bananas would be in each group, boys and girls? That's right, there would be two. So I'm going to put the number four in here and I'm going to move and share out my bananas. So I'm going to put one in this group, one in this group. I'm going to put one in this group and another in this group. So how many bananas are in each group? Two, so half of four is two. We could check if we're right by writing the number sentence now. Four is a whole equals two, add two. So we need the same in each group. Fantastic, we're going to do another one, okay? A slightly tricky one now. So using our part hole model again, I'm going to put my bananas back and I'm going to do another one. So I want you to close your eyes now, boys and girls. No peeking. Okay, open your eyes. I would like you to share these equally, boys and girls. Can you share them so that they have the same number in each part? <gasps> oh no, I've done something wrong. What have I done, boys and girls? I don't think I can share these. Shall we have a go? We're going to share them equally so that they each have the same number in each group. Oh no, I've got four, one, two, three, four in this group. And how many do I have in this group? One, two, three in this group. Is that sharing fairly? No, that's not fair. How could I make these fair, boys and girls? How could I make these fair? 
I could add another banana. Well done. Are my groups equal now? That's right, they are. So I'm going to write my whole. So I've had eight bananas to begin with. I have the same number in each group. I have one, two, three, four, four, add one, two, three, four. Four add four equals eight. So mums and dads, you can keep practicing that with different numbers as your whole, 10, 12, 16, it's completely up to you. But if you just want to keep to numbers under 10, that's perfect as well. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is a challenge. Now we love a challenge in EYFS. So we are going to make sure that these groups are equal. Are they equal? They aren't. They aren't equal. I've got four in this group and one, two, three, four, five in this group. So you can work your way through this PowerPoint to say if they're equal or unequal. And you can give that questioning of how do you know it's unequal or what could you do to make it equal and fair? Now I've then gone on to sharing more into different groups, okay? So you could have um, four plates. You could do a teddy bear's picnic and share out the biscuits or share out the drinks. I could have four groups that you'd have to share it into. We've just done two, but you could do four groups or three groups or five groups of sharing equally. It needs to be fair. That's what we need to get into our heads today, boys and girls. It has to be fair. And you need to work out whether it's fair or not. Do they have the same in each group? Okay, today's main challenge, and this is a tricky challenge. Now, if you want to challenge your child even further, you could change the whole. You could change the number here. You could do 20. You could do 15. You could do 8. And you can change how many different animals you have. So, as today we are pirates, we've got Pirate Panda here. So Pirate Panda needs your help. And it's a problem-solving activity, boys and girls. So we have horse dog, cat, rabbit, and panda. So I'm going to read it to you and then you can have a little go on your own. So Pirate Panda has taken all the treasure. 10 golden coins. Cat, dog, rabbit, and horse jump about excitedly. Can we have some too? No, 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 says Pirate Panda. Can the children suggest what Panda ought to do? So he's got 10 golden coins and he needs to share them fairly with his four friends. So they all have the same number of golden coins. So if you'd like to pause the video here and have a go at using this as a problem solving challenge and lots of reasoning mums and dads. So pause this here. If you'd like some help, I have given you some questions you might want to ask your child. So is it fair? Once they start, you can use actual bears. So I could have my Gruffalo, I could have uh, my dragon, I could have another teddy bear. You could have five teddy bears and five plates and share your golden coins or counters or Lego or anything you would like to share. And you can show me how you could make it fair, okay? So have they all got the same amount? Why is this fair? Why is it not fair? You may then want to give them another five or because there's five animals. You could then add another animal. You could add sheep. Sheep comes along and sheep wants a, a part of the 10 or 15 golden coins. You could then add another animal or you could add a few more golden coins. And then if you would like to, you can record this. So you may want to do it as a part whole model. You may want to do it as just simple drawings, or you may want to show it as you and your teddy bears, uh, but it's completely up to you. If you would like to show that, you're more than welcome to. I will do another clip where I will show you what I would do. 
Now, I'm going to quickly rub this out and show you. Uh, take that away. Take the bananas away. And it's going to be tricky because I don't think I have enough space. So we have 10 golden coins. Uh, let's use these as a golden coin. So I'm going to put 10 golden coins in my hole and I need to share them equally. How can I share this with my five animals? So I've got five parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one more. And then you could even draw the animals if you would like to. You could do the initial. So you could say this one's horse, this one's rabbit. You could make another one. You could make this one dog, this one cat, ooh, cat, and this one panda. And then share your coins out equally. You have five parts because you have five animals. You would need to then add another part if you want another animal to join. So I hope you have fun. What I'm going to do, I won't tell you the answers, but this is where I would start, okay? So mums and dads, make sure they do it on their own first, but if they need a little encouragement, then you are more than welcome to help out. Okay, well, boys and girls, well done for solving such a tricky problem, and we look forward to seeing them on Tapestry. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday.